Hey guys, welcome back to Bag Review. It's not that bad. How you guys doing today? Uh, this is gonna be episode two. If I can find the correct up oh, here, it is. All right. So today we got my. It's gonna be a tough one. Tutten Kapko Moon and the Golden Age of the Pharaohs bag. So same design on the front and back. You know, um, right there. So it's kingtut.org, so if you guys want to visit and learn something about King Tut. Fun fact, King Tut actually wasn't made of gold, he was actually a human boy. And a couple of his symbols I'm just going to want to go over real quick before I actually get into the review part of it. Um, he's actually, this is actually a sarcophagus, and the sarcophagus has some stuff on it, like cobras, to show he's a snake. And, and human in real life. Um, a vulture, because he was a bird as well, he was a snake bird. I, I, hard to believe, I know. But... Just something I want to get off there. Uh, just, you know, a little bit of... Just... I, would, I wouldn't say that's archaeology. I'd say that's common knowledge at this point. But, yeah. So, we're going to talk about the bag. So, it's a pretty wide bag. I'd say the dimensions... I can put my head in it. Yeah, it doesn't break. So, it's pretty soft. It's got two leather things. Two uh, rope things that you can, you know, hold on to. You know, you can sway your body. Um... I know for a fact it can hold at least one axe bottle, so that's pretty cool. You know, that's, I'm going by at least here. Um, what else is there? Design choice wise, I'm going to go with I love it because the gold on black. But, yeah, it's, you know, it's a bag, you know, you know, I like it. For a bag, it's pretty sweet. So, out of 10 ancient Egypt, I'd probably give it like an ancient Mongolia. So, you know, it's a pretty good uh, bag, that's pretty obvious, I thought that'd be obvious by now, so yeah, that's the end of this bag review, do what the fuck you want with it, I don't really care.